A FEMA site in Tampa is scheduled to close in the end of May, so get there if you can. As for some patchy red tide, it has the potential to make you feel a little sick if you hang out around Sarasota's beaches. Over the last week, the Department of Health has been monitoring those water quality and warnings about the potential side effects, and researchers could actually use your help to try and understand just how it affects you. 10 Tampa Bay photojournalist Tim Berkowitz talks with one of the scientists who's trying to figure that out. Yeah, a lot of questions unanswered, and there's very little known about its impact on, on human health, particularly um, any central nervous system brain uh, type problems. Now, for a long time, we've all known that excess exposure to the toxin can be harmful to humans. During large blooms, we've also seen increases in folks going to the ER, going to the emergency rooms, complaining of neurological symptoms and signs, particularly with severe headaches, migrainous headaches. So these are not just headaches that people can usually get rid of with, you know, a couple of Tylenol. These are severe enough to go to the emergency rooms. Even um, healthy, very healthy uh, lifeguards complain of headaches during red tides. We're just looking to see whether there's a correlation between exposure you know, the amount of, of the toxin you're exposed to and those complaints. In our own clinic here, we see people complaining of memory issues um, and of uh, even movement disorders associated being exposed to the red tide. Now, we need to know whether that's real or not, or whether it's just coincidence and doesn't have anything to do with the red tide at all. And that's really the, the driver for the, uh, for the study. But if there is a relationship, then we have to understand what that's about. Right now, they're actually looking for volunteers who don't live near the water to take part in their study. We've got more information in our story at 10tampabay.com. We'll